What the f*** is up, Kyle? Greetings, you giant slugs. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack-A-Pack here on LRR MTG. Today, we are looking at a pack of Chronicle... Cro cro I can never... I've never in my life been able to roll my R's. It's a pack of Chronicles. A reminder, Chronicles was a reprint set from... 1995 where they reprinted a bunch of stuff from the core sets, but with white border. No, not the core sets, pardon me. From, <laughs> if I can get them from the, I the sticker. It was Antiquities, Legends, Fallen Empires, and the Dark, if I recall correctly. And, uh, yes, that, yes. Exactly what I just said. This pack was given to us by Orastes in mail time in February, 2021. So thank you for that. I don't think we opened it in February 2021. I think we've opened it much more recently than that. But uh, here we are. Let's see what's going on in this pack of Chronicles. I dislike white border. Whoa. It's just so hard to look at. All right. First up, we have teleport blue 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 for an instant target creature becomes unblockable until end of turn cast only after attack is declared and before defense is chosen why why only then that's such a specific timing request that i don't think before blockers obviously that makes sense but why only after attackers i guess to remind you that you have priority during that period of time all right Sure. Ab Abu Jafar. Two different characters from Disney's Aladdin. A single white mana for a zero one leper? I'm sorry. Yep. Summon leper. That's a shame for him. If Abu Jafar is put into the graveyard from play during combat, bury all creatures blocking or blocked by Abu Jafar. Now, the poor guy just has leprosy. So, James, can you tell me, has this been oracled to be a human? Okay, good. I... Briefly terrified that they'd oracled it to zombie, but uh, no. Good good for him that he's still human, at least. If Abu Jafar dies in combat, bury all creatures blocking or blocked, but okay. He's a zero one. Why would anyone block him? No one would want to go near him. What a strange card. Arena of the Ancients. That reminds me, I need to update Arena. Three mana artifact. When Arena of the Ancients comes into play, tap all legends. Legends do not untap during their controller's untap phase. <laughs> Just like, alright. Every legend goes to sleep. Never untaps. Interesting. Okay. That seems like the sort of thing you could do some shenanigans with. Hey, it's Quimbaj Witches. Black, black for a 1-3 summon witches. And tap. Quimbaj Witches deals one damage to target creature or player. Quimbaj Witches also deals one damage to target creature or player of target opponent's choice. Choose your target first. Which is a laborious way of saying, I ping something, and then what would you like to ping? Or in a commander game, I ping that. Would you like to also ping that? It's fun. Welephant. Let me take that again. War Elephant. Three and a white for a 2-2 two -two Elephant with banding and trample. So simple. It's just banding and trample. Bample, if you will. The Welephant has Bample. And other Magic the Gathering phrases. When elephants fight, it is the grass that suffers. Kikuyu proverb. I mean, I guess. I guess it would. Wall of Vapor. Three and a blue for a zero one wall. Damage dealt to Wall of Vapor by creatures it blocks is reduced to zero. It's just, it just blocks whatever. Walls of a castle are made out of stone. Walls of a house out of bricks or of wood. My walls are made out of magic alone. Stronger than any that ever have stood, says the flavor text, attributed to Chryso Barrel Earth's Daughter incantations. I mean, if you got a block, you got a block. Oh, great. It's Goblin Shrine. I think this card's following me. One red red for an enchant land. As long as that land is a mountain, all goblins get plus one plus O. Oh. If Goblin Shrine leaves play, it deals one damage to each goblin. Can you imagine enchanting this onto not a mountain? Why would, like, is it anti-goblin tech? Is like you run it in the, in the mirror. So like you put it 
on your own land and then you sacrifice that land somehow and then you deal one damage to all of your opponent's goblins. I'm really trying to make this card good in my head and it just isn't coming together. Oh, great, it's Felden's Cane. Single mana for an artifact, tap, reshuffle your graveyard into your library. Reshuffle, ooh. <laughs> you don't see reshuffle these days, I like that. Remove Felden's Cane from the game. So shuffle your graveyard into your library, exile Felden's Cane. Sure. Felden found the first of these canes frozen in the Ronum Glacier. Wait, what? The first, what? He's got, like, I know that someone sent, like, 10 to Ben as a goof one time, but did, because he's an artificer. So is it that he found the one cane, and then he was like, great, now I'm going to go make more canes? Or is, did he just find all these canes kicking around Ronum? Right. So um, in Legends, when they introduced uh, legendary creatures, uh, m many of them were bad. They were cool because they were gold, and they cast for both colors of... Of, of of mana and like you could only have one of them in your deck but they were also bad like Savitri Skarzam who really needs some sort of rehabilitation on a new magic card because the art is very cool Savitri Skarzam seems awesome so summon legend she looks like maybe she's a merfolk she's riding like a like a water dragon very very cool five blue black for this creature. She's a 6-4. That's it. That's all she does. This is 6-4 for 7. That's bad. That sorry. I I justice for Savitri Scarzam, please. Reprint a new Savitri where she gets to do cool stuff like anything. Even the brave have caused to tremble at the sight of Savitri Scarzam. Who else has tamed Scarzam's dragon? Well, I mean, no one, because she's just a, okay. Anyway, Bog Rats, single black mana for a 1-1. Rats cannot be blocked by walls, not even that wall of vapor. Sure, okay. Urza's Tower, get some Urzatron action in there. It's a land. Add, tap to add one colorless mana to your mana pool. If you control Urza's mine, Urza's tower, and Urza's power plant, add three mana, colorless mana to your mana pool instead of one. I mean, the Urzatron lands are irrelevant anyway, so that's that's something. Uh, and finally, Indestructible Aura, which even if you don't know it from the name, you know it from the art, because it's the person with the head of a falcon throwing up the horns with like a cool, like, this, I want to hear the guitar solo that's going to happen after this falcon picks up the picks up their axe. It's a single white mana for an instant. Any damage dealt to target creature for the rest of the turn is reduced to zero. Theodar strode the battle line, snatching swords with his bare hands and casting them aside until all cowered before him. Okay. Can we see a new Theodar card as well? That'd be fun. More, more, more Theodar, please. There's only 12 cards in a pack of Chronicles, you may have noticed, for those of you who were keeping count. And um, so, I mean, it, it would be, you'd be in a weird draft anyway, but what would I be taking here if I was drafting this particular pack of Chronicles? Probably Quambaj Witches, because a pinger is just good. And most of the other stuff here is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do have to take Savitri Scarzam because it's just a 6-4 is bigger than anything else has ever been. The whole pack is worth $2.81. Uh, the majority of that being Arena of the Ancients and Ursus Tower is worth a few cents as well. But uh, overall, not an unexpected result for a pack of Chronicles. But hey, you know, uh, it's fun to check out the old white border reprints i suppose uh hey thanks to orastes for sending us this um you know it's I, I i've been harsh on it but opening a pack of chronicles is it it's at least a fun time and hopefully this was a fun time for you if you would like to support this fun time and all the other fun times we do, you can do so at patreon.com slash loading ready run. We really appreciate it. If you want to send us a pack of cards like Erastes did, you can do so to the address upon your screen. Until next time, I've been Graham. James has been running tech. Matt edits these. Heather gets them online. And you all 
hopefully uh, watch them. So thank you all for doing that. We'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.